الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر Rahmatullah wa barakatuh. May Allah bless you this month of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak. Today's topic is Suratul Al Asr. Is a surah that is um, of such importance that it was said by uh, Imam Al Shafi. May Allah be pleased with him. That if only it had been revealed in the Quran, that it had been enough for us to make it to paradise. I mean, it had been enough. So this means that. Uh, evidently the structure of success must lie within the surah. It's evident that this is an important surah, or Imam Shafi would not have made a statement like this. Uh, various uh, dignitaries and scholars have commented on the importance of the surah. Uh, Imam Kaim al Jawziya, may Allah be pleased with him, he also uh, has written extensively on the subject of uh, al as why? Because basically, the root, the minhaj, the methodology of success lies within this. We have in the surah, it says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wal asr, by the time, by the close of the day, by the end, as things come to fruition, as we complete time, the day. As things come to a close, in el insan al surely all mankind will fail. Surely all mankind kind will fail, without any um, exclusions. You, me, everyone will fail. No one may have hope. Illa ladina, except those. Illa ladina amenu except those who believe. Wa amilu salihati and do righteous work. What to was bil haqqa, what to was bil sabr. And it goes on to say that everyone will feel except those who believe and do righteous works and join in the mutual teachings of faith, truth, and the mutual teachings of constancy and perseverance. Amen. May Allah bless us all to understand the importance of these verses. Illa amanu. Amanu. Amanu is the word iman, to believe. It represents knowledge. That we must get knowledge. We must have knowledge. This is the basis of chasm therapy. Chasm therapy, which I derived, came from this surah. It was extracted therefrom hermeneutically. We saw that people were acting without knowledge. And it says that the Christians, they have a good heart. And they would do good things, but they act without knowledge. And this is their mistake. And it said the Yahudi, the Jews, oh, they have knowledge, but they do not act. They've lost care. They're the promised people. They go into paradise. They only need to ask for Allah to forgive them or anything. They're concerned about themselves. They're unconcerned with um, these other matters, the rest of us. But Al-Islam says, that if you believe, if you believe, and do righteous works, what was so and Enjoying the truth on yourself and others, what to was supper, and enjoying perseverance on yourself and others, 
then you will be successful. You will be of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala excuses from the failure spoke about earlier. So, we have four steps. These are the root four steps in the minhaj that you must act on what you know. So, knowledge comes before action. I'm going to say this again. Knowledge comes before action. And we have a statement in the Quran. Allah says, know Allah and ask for forgiveness. He didn't tell you to ask for forgiveness, then know Allah. He says, know Allah and then ask for forgiveness. So knowledge forms an imperative for action. Because of what we know, we must act. And this is the basis of chasm therapy. Knowledge, action, sharing, which is teaching and maintenance, which is perseverance. Four steps that if we hold on to them, we will be successful beyond any of our own beliefs.